Okay, and we have... Royal Tribute Turbo. Royal Tribute Turbo, okay. Oh, it's, uh, it's quite the, uh, the fun deck. Quite the fun deck, okay. The whole point of this deck is to just try and get Royal Tribute out as fast as you can and get rid of all your opponent's cards. Okay. Uh, right in. So we'll just have some standard hand traps. We got two imperms yep. and two drolls mm -hmm. to lock your opponent out. The card effects and of adding cards. Pretty strong hand traps. Uh, three copies of Commandant. Oh. He's meant to add the uh, the Necro Valley to your hand, yep. which is the uh, field spell for Gravekeepers. Really strong card, and that's what he's there for, just to turbo that out as the deck deploys. Mm -hmm. Uh, one ofs are one spy, one recruit. They're both really good. Uh, set one, if he gets flipped, special. If he gets sent to the graveyard, you can add a gravekeeper. Uh, pretty strong because you can add him off the effect. Uh, two copies of Spiritualist. Mm -hmm. While Necro Valley's on the field, she can fusion summon for their fusion card, which can add more gravekeeper cards, which is really strong, really good card. And two headman, which allows you to special summon a gravekeeper in attack or face down defense position from the graveyard, which is really good on spy, getting back on the field. Mm -hmm. uh, then one copy of spell book. Uh, he's uh, really strong to get the uh, spell book draw cards. That's the whole reason he's there for. If I draw into him, I can get all the draw cards for it. Spell book engine. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're not there right now, but there's three copies of Royal Tribute. Um, you discard your entire hand, and then both your opponent, your, you and your opponent discard their entire hand if you have Necker Valley in the field. That's the whole point of the deck, is to make your opponent lose everything. <laughs> uh, terraforming, they get your Necker Valley. Yep. Three copies of Necker Valley. <laughs> uh, just locks your opponent out of the graveyard on top of them losing their hand if you get Royal Tribute, they go off on their first turn. Uh, three thrones. Throne is just so you can add, if you don't already have commandant, uh, get commandant, or you can get one of your other gravekeeper cards. Normally it's going to be spiritualist, just so you can get your fusion plays. Uh, two copies of Hidden Temple. Hidden Temple bakes it to where your opponent cannot special summon. Well, you have a gravekeeper monster and necro valley on the field, and locks them out of even more stuff. Three card lockout, yeah. Uh, draw cards. Two, Dark World. Really strong. Just draw one, discard one. That's the whole point of the deck. Uh, one copy of Allure. If you run any more, you're going to lose out on the very little monsters you have, so I only run it at one. Uh, one card. Would run it at more than one, but it's, it's limited. Uh, really strong card to allow you to go into more draws to try and get into Royal Tribute as fast as possible. Uh, two copies of Spellbook of Secrets, so you can search out uh, Spellbook of Knowledge. Knowledge will discard a Spellbook or a Spellcaster, and then draw two cards. S really strong draw card. Then we got three pot, just so you can, again, go into Royal Tribute, the whole point of the deck. And then one Necro Valley Temple, just in case they pop your uh, Necro Valley, you can activate Temple and activate a Necro Valley straight from the deck. Sweet. That's the main deck. Extra deck is three copies of Supernaturalist. He's the boss monster of the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, he can search one card out during the end phase and he's uh, like a 3200 beat stick when he has his effect off. Uh, one Quintet Magician. This <laughs> rarely comes up, but when it does come up, it's really good. Uh, he's just a non-targetable beat stick that destroys your opponent's entire field when he comes out. Uh, one Cerberus, one Phoenix, one Wee Witch. Uh, Wee Witch can get any of your Gravekeepers back. Nightmare Phoenix pops back row, and Cerberus can pop a card. All really strong effects. Uh, Cowboy for those game moments when you're going in the end game. Uh, Castell. It's been a while since I've seen Castell, but I decided to run him for his uh, popping effect. It's really strong. Uh, and one Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller is really good in this current format. He's really strong, and that's why I'm running him right now. Sweet. And that is the entire deck. Sweet. So I guess it's a great keeper that has the effects of Trenchal Tribute. Basically. It's to lock your opponent out of everything. Sweet. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you.